Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Scott and today I'm going to be talking to you about curb ramps from Bridget Curb Ramps. Hi everyone, I'm Donna Marie and you're watching the Corvette channel. So guys, um, as you've seen me starting out with these Stingrays, uh, you know, they were up in, the, up in the air, they didn't have any of the ground effects on them yet, and I was still having a little bit of a problem with the, just the little uh, air dam that's at the bottom, and they were scraping on the driveway as I was going in and out of my, out of my driveway. And as I've been putting different spoilers and stuff on the cars, as you've seen in the videos, um, it's gotten to the point now where I just put a new brand new front nose, uh, the new ZR1 front nose on my car and uh, that was it. It was like all I was going to end up doing was scraping every time I went in and out of the uh, driveway. So uh, I started to do a little, little bit of research to find out what it would take to get a like car ramps that would go into a gutter. And, um, and so I was starting to look at all the different products that were out there and the one that jumped out to me was Bridget Curb Ramps. Um, there's a bunch of different options out there but this one seemed to be the one that seemed to make the most sense and it seemed that it fit more more uh, situations you know more the different types of curbs so um, I think this is going to be the right one so I reached out to Bridget and uh, to ask them about these and what they thought and I told them what I was going to do that I have a YouTube channel and that I was going to show them doing this and uh, so they decided that they wanted to go ahead and they wanted to sponsor the channel so they went ahead and sent me a set of, of ramps to go ahead and put in front of my house and that way I can show you guys how it's done and I can tell you what it's all about and what it's like. Um, just a little bit about this is a base kit will include one center section and a left and a right section and then at that point you can buy additional sections for the length that you want to go okay so uh, they sent me three additional sections that way I've got all of my driveway it's actually going to go a little bit past my driveway so when I come in I can turn and I'm not having to come in at such an angle. So uh, you don't have to buy that much of it, but this would be probably the ideal setup for a two and a half to three car driveway, you know, width wise. Um, but you need to measure yours and then you'll be able to, you can check with them, but um, that's, that's how it would work. Um, they do offer free shipping and uh, they are a U.S. based company um, and they everything's made here in the States so uh, all your money's not going overseas so um, go ahead and uh, I'm gonna show you how this is done I'm gonna get uh, get Jennifer to help me flip these over when we get them all put together because I'm gonna have to put them, put them together upside down basically and then I'm gonna flip them over and set them in place and when we've got 24 feet of this I'm going to need a little bit of help, so I'll go commandeer her and have her help me during that, that point. Um, what I am going to do, though, is I'm going to show you the before. I'm going to show you what my car does and how it sits going into that driveway without these. And then I'll show you what it's like with them. And you're going to be amazed on the difference. And not just that, but growing up, um, my dad always told me, he's like, you don't go flying into a driveway uh, because you're going to tear everything up in your car. So even if you guys don't have a ground clearance issue and you guys just come boom, 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 boom um, that's going to tear up your struts, your shocks, you name it. All of the different suspension components are going to wear out. Uh, my dad, like I said, used to tell me this all the time, but my brother didn't listen and he would just come, you know, flying into the driveway and the, you know boom 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 and he was always at the alignment shop he always was having problems with his car and you know my dad would tell him hey I told you so I haven't had um, I haven't had to align my cars in a long time because I go into the driveways very very slowly um, but you can only imagine that 
you get to turn this into this big dip into just basically a ramp. So you, you're not going to have to be, you're still going to need to be careful, but you're not going to have to go, you know, tear in the front end of your car apart anymore. So anyway, guys, sit back, relax, watch the show. Um, I'm sure you'll, you'll appreciate it when it's all done and um, go from there. So guys, before we get started, I just want to show you the tools that you're going to need, which is not a whole heck of a lot. Uh, make sure you got a broom and a dustpan so you can sweep out the gutter ahead of time and get the curb nice and clean because you don't want any debris in there. Um, a tape measure if you decide that you want to get the exact spot dead center or however you're going to measure it out. I'm going to actually use the center point of my garage, even though I have a little bit of concrete over to the other side of it that I've added on after I bought the house, I'm going to use the center point of the garage so I already have a line so that's, that'll give me my center point. Um, and then you're just going to need a hammer to be able to help drive the, uh, the bolt through the, the different sections. And then a 2x4 or 2x6 that you can put down on the ground so you can uh, put the two seams together which will then kind of bow the the ramps just a little bit so you can get more better access to the bolt as you're putting it in and you don't need any wrenches there is a nut that you're going to put on the bolt but you're actually going to leave it loose it's going to make sure that it's on at least a quarter of an inch um, past the end of the threads and that way it will allow for here in my street I have a perfect I get lucky I have a perfectly straight street now, a lot of you probably don't. You probably are in a cul-de-sac or, or a court or something of that nature. So you're going to be able to need to make turns. So with these long bolts that we're going to be putting in, if you leave them loose, you'll be able to form each one of these at each one of these joints to follow the curve of the concrete. So, um, like I said, you're just putting it on there just to basically keep it together. Okay. Um, the weight of the units should keep them nice and tight, and you shouldn't have to worry about that. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to carry these little guys out there. They're, uh, they're about 55, 57 pounds a piece. I've got six boxes, so I'm going to haul those out now. We'll get them all out there and then um, uh, we'll go from there, right? Well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sweep the gutter out. My gutter's fairly clean, but I'm going to sweep it out. Now, the wind is kind of blowing out here, so hopefully you can hear me really well. Um, but. Uh, and it's kind of blowing in both directions, so God only knows how my, my little bit of debris in the computer is going to work here, but we'll get that done here real fast. And then, you can see right here, I'm just driving these bolts all the way through. Not hard. Not hard at all. Just like that. And do the same thing over here. Knock these out. You can see they come out really easy. Now we're just gonna slide this one over. Slide this one over a little bit more here. Just like that. Get it to line up just right. And these little guys go right in. Always helps if you hit the hit the end of the bolt, though, guys. We're going to do this over here. I'm going to show you just on one of them, not to bore you with all this, but you're going to just do this on all of them. You're just going to put a screwdriver down in here, lift this bolt up a little bit. That way you can actually get the, the threads 
to start on the nut onto the bolt. It's like so. And you're gonna run it in about a quarter of an inch or so. I mean, get my screwdriver over a little bit better. Just like that, okay? This does, that's, that's not going anywhere, but this also allows for some flexibility in case your street isn't perfectly straight. And then over here, I'm doing the same thing over here. Let me see if I can get my screwdriver in there better, okay? And just get it started. So you don't need any wrenches or anything like this. It's just all finger tight. If you guys are worried about somebody swiping this, you realize that having each one of these sections being a little bit over 50 pounds, it's going to take a lot for somebody uh, in the middle of the night to come swipe these. So I don't think that's going to be a problem. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish all the rest of them up. And then at that point, Jennifer's going to help me go ahead and flip the whole thing over into the gutter and then we'll be done and then i'll be able to show you how much clearance we've got with the cars when we go in and out before we flip it over before i have jennifer help me flip it over i just want you to see what it looks like in the bottom see the bolts there like that that's what it should look like now comes the time that you're gonna have, you're gonna need some help. So you're gonna have to enlist your wife or your girlfriend or a buddy or somebody to help you flip this over because this thing weighs a ton, right? All put together like this. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull this up and get Jennifer down over about this area here. She's gonna grab it and hold it as I continue to flip it over. Once we get it over on its, on its back where it belongs, then we can adjust it into the gutter. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab it here this right there you go so now we just need to align it into the gutter okay so now that we've got everything lined up here I'm gonna go ahead and hop into the car and we'll back it out and we'll test it hopefully you like what you saw today if you guys are in need of a curb ramp which I bet a lot of you Corvette owners especially and almost all sports car people for sure need one of these ramps so check out Bridget.com and I'll put that information on the screen and they will be able to help you so go ahead and give them a call or check take a look at them on the website and they'll be able to get you all the information that you're gonna need uh, super fast shipping it was free shipping can't beat that guys it's all USA made everything's all here in the United States can't beat that with a stick so guys hopefully you'll like what you saw today guys, thank you for subscribing if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button as well as that bell so you'll be able to know our next uploads and guys thanks for watching you guys have a great night
enjoyed watching the Corvette channel. Thank you, and don't forget to hit subscribe.